Good evening and welcome to the September edition of the Business Forum. We've got a great show, so you're going to want to stay tuned and watch the whole thing. We have somebody that's on our stage many, many, many times before as our first segment, and that is Ms. Julie Hurst, the CEO of the Emerald Coast Children's Advocacy Center. Julie, welcome. Good Welcome morning. back, I should say. Thank you for having us yeah. back. Last time you and I sat down and chatted, you were just getting started on a brand new facility over Walton County Way, as I Yes, understand. we were. Well, let's back up a little bit. Okay. For the folks that have no idea what in the world we're talking about, tell them what the Children's Advocacy Center is. Uh, the Children's Advocacy Center is a place where uh, we see uh, reported cases of child abuse. Last year, we saw 685 children at the center. My goodness. And statistically, we're only seeing a third of the children that are probably out there. So there's still a lot more children to help. Yeah. But what we do there, um, when a child has been uh, sexually or physically abused, they have to come and tell their story. And so at the Children's Advocacy Center, we have all those agencies housed under the roof that manage those types of cases. So we have law enforcement, prosecutors, Department of Children and Family, the child protection team, which does the interviewing and the medicals and the mental health program. So when the child comes to tell their story, all those people are watching at the same time. So we're able to wrap services quickly around that child and that family, but also law enforcement and prosecution has an opportunity where we can hold more off offenders accountable for what they're doing to children in our community. Certainly, and it's a child-friendly environment. Yeah, it's, a, it's like a big house, yep. a wraparound porch. We are at 401 McEwen in Niceville. We've been there for 15 years. Yes, um, I remember the launch. That yeah, was a long so time when the, ago. Yeah, it was. And so, um, you know, when children come in, it's a very calming environment, fish tank, you know, child colors. And so the goal is to help the child feel comfortable so they you know feel safe and they can tell what happened and we can help them because if we roll the clock back 15 years ago that that same child would end up having to tell the story over and over and over at again multiple places at multiple places all of them very institutional all of them very government like you know park in the parking lot hike 10 miles find the room and then have to tell the so right. we've brought all this into one place yes we have and and um, the focus is on helping the child Absolutely. Which ultimately should have been the focus all along, but right. because of the way we were set up, it just right. didn't pan out that it's way. It's very fragmented. It was no one's fault. It's just the way yeah. that system was created and it wasn't for children. Yeah. So one really neat thing, you know, the mental health piece is really important for children. And last year, um, we added therapy dogs to our program. <laughs> so we have Riley and Cody um, and their Maltese's, and that has added a, a new a dimension to helping kids and families. Yeah. So... That's fantastic. Now, I kind of let the cat out of the bag a little mm -hmm. bit, but you've got some projects yeah, going we on, do. don't you? Um, the Walton County Children's Advocacy Center, when I was here with you last year, we had gotten the land. We had received a million-dollar gift. Um, so it was all kind of in the planning stages. Mm -hmm. And so I'm here to say today that we um, it is being built as we speak um, in uh, College Avenue in Defeniac Springs. And completion date as far as the building is December of this year. It's a 15,000-square-foot facility. Um, Terry Jones of Compass Builders is donating his time to build that for us. Wow. And so um, we hope to open probably early next year uh, mm -hmm. and be able to provide, even though we've always provided the services in Okaloosa for both counties, um, we'll be able to do all the uh, services in county for children and families. Well, it's a fantastic service and, um, you know, just kind of educate folks a little bit. What do, what do parents need to know? Um, I think the most important thing is people need to be really cognizant of their children, you know, any behavioral changes or um, just really talking to your kids. And I think uh, one of the most important things that they can do is teach them, you know, empower them about their bodies and that um, they need to protect them. And if someone says or does something that seems inappropriate or doesn't seem right that they, you know, that they do come to the, tell their parent. Yeah. Because typically what we see is children don't tell their parents because they're afraid they'll hurt they'll upset their parents yeah and so they usually you know wait and years later to tell somebody that they trust and, and it, it always seems that what hits the news is that you know abduction from outside or whatever but you and I both know it's the folks that get locked into the house that mm -hmm. yeah, 90, more often than yeah. not are the issue right children are um, abused 90 percent of the time by somebody that they know whether it's a family member uh, we've had cases against coaches you know um, churches so it, the gamut it, the reality is it can be anybody and we don't sit around worrying about that all the time obviously because no kind of no. drive us crazy as parents but you just need to be cognizant and if a child does tell you something even if it's your child or another child that you know you have a responsibility legally how do you go about reporting those uh, you call the one 
uh, 1-800 hotline number in Florida or law enforcement. And in Florida, it's 1-800-96-ABUSE. Mm -hmm. um, and that's just who you might be concerned um, because sometimes I think people are, they call me to say, what should I do? And they just need to get on the phone and call and the, let the experts handle it. Yeah, because I, um, on so many different levels, the uh, perpetrator is not going to get help until somebody intervenes. The child's not going to get help until somebody intervenes. Mm -hmm. And it's a whole lot better to have some hurt feelings mm -hmm. and nothing be going on than to right. allow it to continue right. and, and others get hurt. Yeah, people need to understand after what happened with the Jerry Sandusky case, mm -hmm. um, laws changed in Florida and across the country and now in Florida everyone is a mandatory reporter which means if um, you knew and, and something comes out that you did know and didn't act responsibly that you can be held criminally and liable, li liable yeah. um, now in Florida. So, As it should be. As, As it, should, it should, be. should be. We should all be alert uh, I had a, a very smart man once tell me, don't micromanage, but be micro-informed. Absolutely. So <laughs> Absolutely. Monitor your kids and know what's going on right. with them, that's for sure. Now, you've got some great supporters that you'd like to share uh, Yeah, we do. Um, with us. You know, with, with the Walton County Children's Advocacy Center, um, you know, the Pierce family had uh, made a matching, uh, a million dollar matching pledge for us. Uh, recently, we received a half a million from the Dugas Foundation to help with the building. And then uh, the Destin Charity Wine Foundation has been very supportive of the center. Yeah. Uh, Mike Thompson, one of our board members, has done a lot to help us raise money. So, you know, we wouldn't, it, from the churches to the kids raising money, um, it, it's the gamut. Everything that we do, we're able to do because of people in the community. Yeah, sounds fantastic. Um, if folks want to help your organization, how do they go about that? Um, we have volunteer opportunities, obviously. Um, we have them in Niceville and have for the past 15 years, and so um, we're establishing that same type of program in Walton County. Mm -hmm. um, so they can go to our website, which is www.eccac.org. And you should see that on your screen here, too. Mm -hmm. Yes, so. and so, um, you know, Always work that needs to be done. Right, and, and it takes all of us to take care of children. And I will say, I've been there for 15, 16 years yeah. now, um, the founding per director, and you know we've seen 10, 000, over 10,000 children go through our doors. So um, our goal is, you know, the end vision is that, that we're not needed and we can, you know, close for business, but. It's, it's an ugly part of our world and it's a dark part of our world, but we need to shed light on it. And that's the only way to make it go away. Absolutely. Uh, bring the light out. Um, Absolutely. If you wanted to give any final words to help us keep our children safe, what would they be? I just think if people would just take time to educate their children, um, one of the things we want to do is get into the elementary schools to teach children how to empower their bodies. And it's, uh, there's, you know, people have different opinions about that. But if we could start that today, we really would have an opportunity to have a generational change. Yeah. Um, that children would feel empowered to tell if something did happen or would have happened to them, I think the world would be a, a different place. Julie, God bless you for all the hard work you've been doing. And 15 years, I can't believe it's been that long. That's yeah, just amazing. It's amazing. It is amazing. And uh, uh, I look forward to uh, seeing you uh, jump up there in Walton County with a brand new facility. And I'm Next sure year, I'll be able to tell you. Show where you we're picture. going next yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> so thank you for your doing uh, uh, thanks for all you're doing for our community yeah. and our children and uh, we sure do yeah. appreciate thank it thank you Dave and the Niceville Chamber for allowing us to come on and share God bless thank you next up we've got White Wilson Medical Center coming on here going to tell you all kinds of great things that are going on there so you don't want to miss it make sure you stay tuned <laughs>